Hello everyone and welcome back. This weekend I am trying to find myself a new pair of shoes for walking, running, all that stuff. I had gotten a pair last year and they're really good but I can just tell the cushion is gone in them. And either I want to get the like same exact pair, I wear the Brooks Trace 2. So either I want to get them or maybe something better. I was looking at, I believe... It was, Bro I'm still gonna probably go with Brooks just because I am having, I have like a lot of success with them. I feel very comfortable in them. I think their price point is pretty good. So that's the, that's the brand that I'm gonna stick with right now. But I don't know if I wanna do the ones that have their GTS in it. It has like a, a little bit of a stabilization for your heel, which I think would help because then it will save us, because they say it will stabilize your heel, which will help stabilize your knee. And if you don't know, I have runner's knee, so. I feel like that would definitely be helpful. So we're gonna go to look at a running store around here. We also have to do a couple other errands. We have to go to Target. And if you don't know, Carvel has vegan ice cream partnered with Oatly. So we're gonna see if we can get a couple things to try. So we will also try those later on. But for now, we're gonna head out and we're gonna go head off to the stores. Go to the store or be sissy. Oh, sorry. Oh. He has so much to say, y'all. All right, so we just arrived at the store. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna go look around and see what we can hopefully find. Hopefully, either I find a pair that I already have, not in the same exact color or something close. My only requirements for a sneaker is that they're comfortable. And number two is that what they're- are you filming with a mask on, you Oh, fool. well, whatever. I'm not taking it off. I'm going inside the store in literally a second. Or that they're fun and colorful. I want a fun and colorful shoe. I want you to see me coming. Okay, so we just got back in the car from the store. I did not know this was like a serious, serious store. Like I thought this store, like I could go in, like I knew my mom's filling up her tires right now, but I thought you could go in and like, I knew you could get like walk on a treadmill, get your foot looked at to make sure you have a good, like, you know, like get like custom fit for a shoe, their shoes, a custom, <laughs> a custom fit for a shoe or whatever. But I didn't know you had to do it. Like this place was like, yeah, we can't sell your shoes unless you go on our treadmill and do it. And the reason I don't want to do it is because you have to walk on the treadmill barefoot. And I don't know. I that's that's just gross to me. Like, uh, you know, I'm a little I'm no, I'm not a little bit. I am a germaphobe, okay? Since COVID, I have become a full like germaphobe. I I'm still wearing my mask, you know, because keep myself and others safe. But like I don't know. I I would need to see that lady scrub down that treadmill with like some serious bleach before I put my feet barefoot where someone else has put their bare feet on. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I just like, yeah, no. So, and my mom was like, so you can't, you can't just buy shoes here. And she's like, no. Also, when I looked at their wall, they did have the Ghost 15, I think were the other pair that Brooks recommended for me to try out. And those are my options, but I thought online on their website, they said they had the traces there. They don't. So I think my next stop will probably be, I don't know if we're gonna go today. Maybe, I don't know when we'll go. I would love to go sooner than later, but maybe. I would love to go to Dick's again because that's where I actually got these from. It was like an outlet. These are great. So I don't know, maybe we'll see if we're gonna go there. We still have to go to a few stores though. Like I said, we're gonna go and do that, but it's kind of disappointing. Like, uh, we did all this and I didn't see anywhere on their website that was like, oh, sorry, we're not gonna, so we can't sell you shoes unless you get this like custom like fitting done. I also, I'm sure I probably would have done that and they would have been like, we have to charge you. And they didn't mention any of that. Ugh, whatever, that sucks. So I'll keep you guys posted on what we decide to do. We're here, I was I'm not gonna vlog because they're playing copyright music. I'm trying on the Trace 3s, which are the Trace 2s, <laughs> which are the new versions of the ones I have now. I could have filmed and shut it off. I think I need to tie them a little bit better, but I can already just tell they're They like, look so good on camera. They're so comfy. Like, the pink is so, like... Poppin. Okay, so I got some shoes. We'll show them later. But right now, we're going to go into this PetSmart, which I don't know. I want to see if there's some cats in here, because I'm going to look at some cats. I can't have any more cats, but I want to look at some cats. So since I last spoke at the pet store, there was no pets inside the store. I mean, other, like people pets that they brought, but no pets to look at. Very disappointing, very upsetting. They had this very sad doggy daycare though. No dogs were luckily in this sad doggy daycare because honestly, I would have been sad to send my dogs to this daycare, but I don't have a dog, so I don't have to worry. But we stopped at a few other stores. We had to go to the food store, get a couple things. Right now my mom's running into one 
really quickly because she needs these just eggs and she cannot find them anywhere because they did like a whole rebrand so she's trying to find like the rebranded ones because they don't have any but then we are going to go to the carvel we're like we're not sure what we want to get i think we're definitely going to get the flying saucers chocolate they have chocolate and strawberry and i'm not a strawberry person so we're going to get the chocolate ones and we're going to each get one of the flying saucers and then they have two different like hard scooped ice creams they have a peanut butter and chocolate or they have a oreo and vanilla now i've tried oreo and vanilla briar's ice cream so i'm like i don't really want to try like the same one again so i'm not going to we're going to get the peanut butter and chocolate one hopefully it's good because we did try the only like um ice cream once before just like chocolate it's not good but we're trying to figure out if this is made with someone's music is bumping we are trying to figure out if this is oatly like milk used to make the ice cream or if it's oatly ice cream because if it's oatly ice cream then it's kind of like we don't have a great feeling so we're like do we want to get the hard ice cream because we know they are bumping me thank you and they all have a soft serve which my favorite kind of ice cream is soft serve ice cream like if dairy queen ever announced that they're making soft serve ice cream and you put the like hard shell on it i would literally lose my mind like that was my favorite thing to get but they have their own soft serve they have strawberry which i was seeing everywhere but they're saying there might be a chocolate and if there's a chocolate i need to get my hands on it immediately we're gonna get the small size of like everything we can they also apparently have ice cream cakes now the ice cream cakes are like 20 bucks and we don't really have a, a cause for needing an ice cream cake, but I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind for when my birthday comes around. For when my birthday comes around, because ice cream cake is also my favorite kind of cake. I mean, the crunch a little bit, like in the fudge, like wow. That's it for now. I will check in once we get to Carvel. We have the ice cream secured. So in here, we have our soft serve one, which these smalls are like really big. Sizes honestly at, at Carvel are like really decent sizes. This is the small, like it's like, it's like a decent size small, I will say, and not a bad price as well. This, the like medium large and all that, they remind me of that episode of Parks and Rec where they have like all the different sizes and then there's like the child size soda. Not like in a bad way, but like in a good way. This is the peanut butter one and then we were originally gonna get i think i said this we were just gonna get the single flying saucers of just chocolate they did not have any singles they had like a whole pack so she said you know what i'm interested in trying the strawberry so we got the whole pack and then the only thing we are not trying is the oreo one because like i said we've had oreo vegan ice cream before and the strawberry soft serve just because like i'm sorry Sorry, we're not strawberry fans. Oh, I thought you were saying sorry about not being a strawberry fan. No, so we're gonna I'm try these. The I'm gonna take the lids off. I'm gonna wash my hands, get some of our own spoons, and we're gonna get to taste testing. Okay guys, how short should I cut my hair? I have, a, I have an appointment. I'm gonna get my hair cut soon. How short should I cut it? Where should I cut? I think I'm going here, like where the spoon is. Yeah, probably gonna cut it to this. I'm gonna go like spoon length here. I'm gonna go up to the spoon. I'm gonna show this. I'm getting my hair cut with my cousin, so I'm gonna say, cousin, can I get a spoon lane? <laughs> Once we taste test the ice cream, then I'm gonna show you my shoes I got. Oh! Down y'all go. Oh, it's soft. Ooh. Where's the jump? I like soft hair. Are you good? No, it's just right <laughs> up there. It's right here. Ooh. Why does it look nice? Yeah, I love that you're kind of, I kind of like the anonymity of you. It's too tall, I'm sorry. Should be looking in these cameras. Whoop, oh my god. Oh, no. Try it, try it. It just slid off this one. Wow, wait, I need more. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, here is, this is peanut butter. Reckless driving reported. Oh, okay. Wow. Peanut butter chocolate. I don't think I got any peanut butter. Here's the weird thing I'm gonna say. Oh, here's some peanut butter. I think that's basically soft serve. But not really, because that has a different taste to it. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Where's the peanut butter? Are you trying vanilla? Are you trying chocolate? Are you trying what? Vanilla. Stop strawberry, strawberry, sorry. Why didn't you do vanilla? Why didn't you do vanilla? <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. Crack. Perfect. Wait, I thought. Wait, this is kind of upsetting. What? I thought the cookie was gonna be soft, not crunch. Cookie's never soft. Oh, okay. No, I, I, I think I know what I'm thinking. Here, it says right here, flying saucer, which makes more sense because it is hard, so it could definitely fly. Okay. And she cracked that cookie. Okay, let me see. Smells of strawberry. Let me smell them. A little bit. 
I can't breathe right now. Okay, so a little bit of rice. Mm -mm. I don't hate it, but bite a cookie full. It tastes like okay, I'm the gonna bite my inside dogs. of get that over a counter, <laughs> you crazy girl. It tastes like the inside of you. Know, uh -huh. Do you want to cut it? You, you're running down there. Um, it tastes like an inside of one of those chocolate candies when you get the the one with the marshmallow, not marshmallow, but you know what I'm saying? When you get the heart candies, like the hearts where you have all the little chocolates in it, the assorted candy, and sometimes you'll bite into one and it's like pink filled. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I've never bit one of those candies before. That is the right consistency for a flying saucer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Speak to the flying saucer community because I don't know that much about them. Mine? Close it. Mm -hmm. Mine, not so much, but mm -hmm. I don't hate it. Okay. I'm gonna show off my shoes. Here they are. These are basically the same exact shoe I have now, but they are like the new upgraded version. These are the Trace 3. Something bright, something fun, something pink. I'm picturing next year's, not, well, not next year, this year's Breast Cancer Awareness Walk. Uh -huh, this is how you'll spot me. All right, y'all. Oh, flashlight. Who keeps telling this one to turn on flashlight? Not me. All right, we're busting out the new shoes for today. I'm gonna scare these people off better in the gym. So I have my new shoes on. I had to take them once off already. Not because of the shoe, but because there's cat litter in my shoe. Like how I literally took them right out of the box and put them on my foot. I will say with these, I gotta find the right lace tying to them, but I can already feel where the ball of my foot. I've been ripping holes in my socks from my old shoes. And I can already feel where, like the ball of my foot is pushing down these shoes. I did do a few little jogs and sprints just now with them on. And I can definitely feel the cushion compared to when I did them yesterday in my old shoes. That's good, but I'm gonna go get this walk done and I'll show you what I think of the shoes when I'm done with my walk. I have a slight issue. The shoes are chafing on the back of my ankle. They're burning the hell out of my ankle. Like I'm getting rug burn every time I walk. I still have to do another mile. No. Well, can you help me? It's definitely red right here. No, I take a look. Yeah. Well, it's all, it's like you got something from there. Your veins are popping. Oh. All right, good morning, everybody. So, here's what's happening. Yesterday morning, I tried the shoes again, and it was just not good, but it was more of like, I was in a bad mood, so nothing was good. So I decided to go out. I was going to go look for more shoes, and I am right back with these guys. Instead of getting new shoes, I ended up getting new socks. Hopefully, see if that will help. And I actually found my shoes at DSW. But my shoes that I had now, like in a different color, were actually more uncomfortable, weirdly enough. And if these don't work, I'm gonna give them another try today. And if they really don't work, then I am going to maybe get the Ghost 15. I don't know. But I'm just gonna give them a try. Kinda really good at breaking the shoes. For today, I'm just gonna walk at a kind of like slow pace, get them broken in. I also bought some inner soles for my old shoes so I can keep wearing them as like my daily walking shoe. So yeah, so we're just gonna get a little, like a stroll in today, like a trot, like a turkey trot. I'm gonna turkey trot it out right now. Okay, so I just finished a mile. I wanna keep going, but literally I turned it up to 2.8 and instantly like my ankles are like burning right now. So I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna, I think I wanna keep walking obviously because I missed like two days and I'm like super far behind on like what I'm supposed to be at to hit the year goal. But I don't know. I think my issue is when I walk too fast, my heels start to like pick up out of the shoes. I don't know if I need to tighten them more. I'd like to walk at least a mile and a half. I'd love to walk two miles, but I don't know. Like it's not good if like I can't walk at the speed I walk at. Like as of now, I'm not even walking at the normal speed that I typically walk at every day. So it's kind of like, ooh, that's not good. So I can't walk at the speed that I normally walk at with these shoes. But yeah, I'm gonna give them a quick little retie and I'll hop back on and see. I just finished the second mile. Not too bad. I think I kind of zoned out. <laughs> In all honesty, I think it just like was like listening to music and kind of just like, you know? So there's that. Do I feel like I can keep going? Yes. I do feel like I could keep walking and maybe go for a 5K, but the other thing is I don't want to like overdo it with my shoes and then not be able to. Like every aspect of my body otherwise than like my feet area, I could probably keep going. I will say my hips started to act up a little bit just now these last few like minutes, seconds. So I'm like, but I feel like two miles is good. So I might just call it and 
you know, because I do have to go upstairs and do some work. So I'm thinking, let me just go upstairs, do my work, let my feet rest, and then we'll come back down tomorrow and give them one last shot. I think they're okay though. I think it's just like, I think I'm gonna have to like build up the skin on the back of my legs. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. All right, but that's it for today. Two miles, done. So last time I saw you guys, I think I said I was gonna see you next in the gym, but I decided not to go down this morning. I just could not get up and do it. So I was like, you know what, whatever, it's fine. But for the shoes, I think they're gonna work fine. I think it's just gonna have to like break them in, honestly. like. I'm the person that like, when you have a shoe and you love that shoe, like you wear that until there's holes in them. And since that's where I'm at, I really do need new shoes. I think these are gonna be fine. I think it's just gonna be like breaking them in and then we'll be good to go. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow along and see if I do keep these shoes. I'm pretty sure I will. I know I will, but you know, who knows? Let me know down below what you guys use for your running shoes, walking shoes, working out shoes. I'm always interested in hearing what other people use. So feel free to let me know down below. Well, that's it for this week. I will see you guys next week for a little bit of a surprise video. I'm not gonna say what it is right now. I will say I did mention what it may be in this video. So if you're paying attention, you may know what's coming next week, but I'll see you guys next week. For now, roll the outro. Why does my hair look like this? Where are the headphones?